Good morning, Rhythmia. Good morning, Facebook. <clears throat> hey, we're still coming to you from beautiful Malibu, California. Uh, I'm missing my home in Costa Rica so much, although Malibu's quite a nice place. Um, anyway, uh, I have a very, very, very interesting talk, an interesting thought for you for this week. And, and here's the truth. And it's something you're not going to like, so let it sit in for a minute. The truth is, you have no excuse. That's true. You have no excuse. There is not one excuse that you have that's going to allow you to be the you that, that you're falling into. There's not an excuse. If you take a look at all the people throughout the world that have what we would seem, what we would think are true excuses, uh, people that are born without legs, people that were born into uh, incest, and people that were born uh, with low IQs, and people that were born uh, with, with all kinds of, of chronic physical ailments, and they win. And when I say they win, I don't mean that they become multimillionaires or that they become uh, uh, best-selling authors or that they become, uh, you know, world changers, although a lot of them do. When I say they win, they live a heart-centered, content life. Uh -huh. And you have no excuse whatsoever to not live a heart-centered and content life. In this process of birthing, in this human experience where, where we actually separate from our soul, that creates this longing to be something else, a longing to fill, it, fill us up with something. So for some of us, it's a longing we try to fill up with sex. Uh, for others, it's a longing we try to fill up with workshops. Uh, some others yet, it's a longing we try to fill up with uh, the, the quest to find the perfect mate. Uh -huh. And the, 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 a couple of things that I know is you can't fill it up with workshops, you can't fill it up with sex, and you can't fill it up with the quest for a perfect mate. You can't do it. So now this is where the being comes into being. Every single, you know, I, people spend a lot of money to come to my place. They spend a lot of money to come to my place. And, 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 at, and, and during their stay at my place, they reconnect with their soul. That's it. There's not one thing that is at my place that they did not come with. Uh huh. Every single thing you need, you have. And you have it today, you had it yesterday, you'll have it tomorrow, it's do you want to realize it? And, and listen, I see a lot of people that, uh, that, that, that in a spiritual kind of snobby way go to workshop after workshop after workshop after workshop after workshop and not once are they content. Uh -huh. And then I, I'll, I'll just happen to be walking down a street and I'll just see a guy uh, with a particular kind of smile on his face, and I will know that he knows. And all of you have that ability. All of you have that ability to know that, know that one thing at this particular second, that you have the ability to know that you know. Uh huh. So like... My thing for you this week is to get the fuck out of your way. To, to just stay away from yourself. To just, because here's what happens. In the purest moment, what we do at, at Rhythmia, we put you through a process that gets you to realize who you are. Then you go through some really deep ceremonies to merge you back with your soul and to heal your heart. But I want to tell you something right now. If you eliminate everything from you, 
except you and yourself, you get to the same place. Uh-huh. And you can walk down that street and smile. And listen, if you if you want to do me a favor, because a lot of people need to hear this shit right now, is please share this thing. Please share it. Uh-huh. And then once you are connected in that way where it is just you and you, then there's room for all kinds of other shit. And by all kinds of other shit, I mean there's room for love, there's room for success, uh, there's room for abundance, there's room for all these things, and, uh, but, but, but you're doing it backwards. You're trying to get the abundance first to lead to the feeling of contentment. Uh huh. Instead of getting the contentment that leads to the abundance. And it's a really, really tricky thing. We do it in a boot camp style. You come down to Rhythmia, you get a full 24 7 ass kicking. Uh huh. And, 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 and it works incredibly well. Incredibly well. Uh huh. It, it, it works incredibly well. But, but the other way to do it is to just get to the point where it's just you and yourself first then the contentment happens, and from contentment, all things come. All things come. All abundance, all beauty, all love. Uh huh. Because that contentment is the death contentment. It's the same contentment that comes in the ayahuasca experience, which is the death experience itself. Uh -huh. So I'm not, hey Keith, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that, oh, once you get this magical piece, then all good things are going to happen in your life. Um, that I would be the biggest liar who ever set face uh, on the, ever set foot on the face of the earth. I'm not that guy. I'm going to tell you something, that you reconnect with your soul, you get your heart healed, and bad things still happen to you. People die. We get older. The people we love leave us. Uh, but the richness of it becomes a thing of beauty. This is what's so gorgeous about, about this whole thing is that the richness of that becomes the thing of beauty. Uh -huh. That's why you can have an ayahuasca experience and you can watch yourself or a loved one die and feel such joy uh -huh, in this human experience. The good news is you have it right now. You have it. Uh, and, and listen, if you're having trouble understanding what it is that I'm talking about, I, I understand. Sometimes we have to go through so much shit in order to get the clarity on this thing uh, that, that, you know, that, that we don't have the years to invest to do it. If you don't have the years... Come down to Rhythmia, and, and we will ask kick you through it in seven days. And you'll have a, a really, really, really wonderful time uh, at the same time. But, but what I'm telling you is that, is that for right now, try this. Every time that a thought comes to you that is not yours or your soul's, kick it out. Uh huh. And you're going to spend a lot of time kicking them out. And kick it out and kick it out and kick it out and kick it out. And when you get to where there's nothing left to kick out, contentment sets in. And in that contentment, you get to see your beauty. Uh huh. You get to see your beauty. And there's so many people that need to see their beauty. Uh huh. So, so by all means, by all means, keep doing this one thing. If it's not your thought, get rid of it. If it's not the thought of your soul, get rid of it. And everything is going to work out great. Okay, good. I want you to keep that with you for a week. The whole problem with these things is that I just gave you a conscience. It is wide awake, clarity. I'm speaking to your conscious, not your subconscious. I'm talking and it makes all the sense in the world. But as soon as you go and a little life thing pops up, it's easy to pop out of it. Uh-huh. I want you to try to stay with it this week. I want to advertise some very good friends of mine who are coming to 
uh, to Rhythmia, Foster and Kimberly Gamble. Uh, they made the movie Thrive. Uh, they're amazing folks. Uh, let's see what dates they're coming. They're coming November 4th through the 11th. If you want to see something really cool, come book now and get to see them then. Uh, if you can't make it that week, trust me, every week at Rhythmia, the same, the same exact thing happens. So every week at Rhythmia, the, the thing that I just discussed with you that can take years and years and years and years of work happens and it happens in a week. Uh, so please, guys, come and visit me. Um, it's, it's what I love doing, and I love seeing the joy in people's faces when they leave. Um, I, I love you to do that. But this week, try one thing. Try leaving yourself alone in a new way by kicking out any thought that's not yours or your soul's. And, uh, and let's see how you do this week, okay? Uh, God bless you. God keep you. Remember Foster and Kimberly Gamble, November 11th through the 4th. Um, remember them. Come and see us, okay? I can't wait to see you guys. And for the alumni that have been here and they just need to freshen up or they just want to hang out with us, I don't blame you. Uh, we're pretty cool to hang out with. <laughs> Make sure you come down and have a fun time. God bless you guys.